Scientists and researchers are arguing that animal meat is not an efficient source of protein and it causes large greenhouse gas emissions. Industrial animal agriculture contributes more to climate change than the direct emissions from the entire transportation sector combined. The vast majority of the plants we grow globally are not fed to humans, rather they are fed to livestock animals. This is an even more serious issue when we consider that more than 820 million people across the globe are suffering from malnutrition. Animal agriculture takes up 77% of all agricultural land on earth despite supplying only 17% of humanity's food supply. A vast majority of antibiotics produced today are fed to animals and then we eat those animals making us increasingly resistant to antibiotics. So this widespread use of antibiotics by industrial animal agriculture is leading to more and more antibiotic resistant superbugs that already kill 5 to 7 lakh people a year in the US. The rate of multi-drug resistance is getting worse even in developing countries. By 2050, these superbugs could cost the world $100 trillion. A review by the UK government found that the threat to the human race from antibiotic resistance is more certain than the threat from climate change. Dame Sally Davies, the chief medical officer for England, has repeatedly warned that the world faces an antibiotic apocalypse in which common illnesses become untreatable and common operations become life-threatening. Clearly, consuming protein from animal flesh is not sustainable, as it not only impacts the health of the planet, but also the health of the humans. There is a huge challenge in front of the food manufacturers to provide protein to the planet in such a way that it does not impact climate change and is also easily accessible to the general public. And smart protein can exactly be the answer to that. So, what are smart proteins? These are the proteins replacing the conventional animal-based protein. These can be derived from plants, microbes and even created by tissue culture. Let's look at some of the sources of smart proteins. Plant-based proteins. These are the proteins derived from protein-rich plant sources such as soy, chickpea, rapeseed, lupin, etc. by the method of dry or wet fractionation. Mycoproteins. Fungi, particularly the whole processed filamentous commonly known as mold, is known to have around 40% of the protein in addition to the fiber content with very less content of carbohydrates and cholesterol. This has been a common form of protein derivation since 1980, which is produced by fermenting on biological livestock. Cultivated meat. A breakthrough came when in 2013, the first cultivated meat burger drew worldwide attention which was made using tissue culture technology. It was a breakthrough because for the first time, a process was designed which mimics the same amino acid profile as that of meat. The demand for non-meat based proteins is increasing every day as people are getting more conscious of the environment. Food industries are bound to shift to these changes and move in parallel with the consumer's interest. This is the time we tap into all the sources we have to pull out and smart protein is exactly the answer to that. Human behavior towards eating habits has never been constant. It changes with time, economy, living pattern and other factors. As a result of which, this appetite has been giving rise to a huge market of smart proteins. India has a culture of relying on plant-based protein sources. However, meat consumption has tremendously increased because of the changes in lifestyle patterns and income. In a cross-country consumer survey conducted by the Good Food Institute and the University of Bath, it was found that 63% of Indians surveyed would be very willing to purchase plant-based meats regularly, a greater percentage than their counterparts in China and the US. This high positive disposition and acceptance towards plant-based meats among early adopters in India compared to more developed markets was present. Despite significantly higher food neophobia and lower meat attachment in India compared to China and the US. It is therefore believed that moving to smart proteins will not be difficult for Indians in comparison to the rest of the world. And the most attractive market that India is today, it stands with a huge potential for smart proteins as well. So this was a small video about smart proteins. 
Hey, and before you leave, if you found this video informative, then we have a separate video, a kind of similar video on rapeseed protein, where a pollen-based innovation is using biocircular technology to process and recycle the protein from rapeseed. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you next time. Class dismissed.